Welcome to Family Adventures featuring four crazy kids. And today we are at Epcot. And we are going to do the Olaf's Holiday Expedition for 2020. Which I didn't know they were doing anything like this, so I'm pretty excited about it. So these were $7.99 a piece, and at the end you get a fun prize that we will show you guys when we're done. All right, where are we at, Dustin? We rode the skyline over from Pop Century Art of Animation, so we're at the back of the park. So we're gonna go, when you walk into the left, which takes us to the UK Pavilion first. United Kingdom. So at the UK dinner tables, Holiday crackers explode to reveal a festive surprise. All right, so where do you think we gotta go? The dinner tables. Because it says dinner tables? All right. Whatever that might be. All right, let's go try to find it. So I was gonna go the opposite way, but Dustin said we should go down this little area. Because we were over there by Rose and Crown, and now we went this way, and there's Olaf over here! We found the first Olaf. So he would be the crackers. So I found the little crackers and now I just gotta find the United Where's Kingdom. He at? Over here. One down, a lot more to go. <laughs> yeah, a lot more to go. <laughs> Look at that car. Luckily, we just happened to come out of the UK and the uh, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, uh, I don't know if it's called Film Kid here or not, but yeah, it is. the mini parade just went by. Fun times. Yeah, so welcome to our channel. We have entered the Canadian Pavilion. And the clue is something about gingerbread men. And it is over there. World Showplace is the inside um, building where, and the last one was like a. So he is in a sleigh and he's hauling gingerbread men. So, somehow we miss in World Showcase which one it is, so we'll have to go back if we can. Yeah. If not, it'll be the last sticker, because I'm confused. Why We could not find it for the life of us over there. We'll keep you posted. Yeah. That is a really pretty tree at Epcot. Look at all those different bulbs. Can you zoom in? We're now entering the Mexico Pavilion in Mexico. Uh, let's see. Festive poinsettias can be found throughout Mexico in abundance during the holidays. So I think we're gonna find an Olaf with a poinsettia in his sleigh. I agree. Okay. So as you can see over there, there's Olaf holding some flowers. I think they're poinsettias. So I'm putting the poinsettia one over on Mexico. 
Okay, so now we are at the Norway Pavilion and in our little holiday expedition it says traditional Norwegian ornaments are made from straw often in the shape of a goat and if you look over here you'll see Olaf Oh, they're over there. Right there. Right up on top. Oh. There he is. He looks way too happy to be with a goat. It's an ornament goat. It burns into the uh, rock really good though. I would have missed that. But you're a genius and you found it really fast. Uh, that's because I totally uh, copied someone else. Uh -oh. Found it that way. <laughs> so we're going to put our little goat on Norway. So the next land or pavilion that we're going to come to is China. In China, it says floating lanterns fill the night sky and mark the beginning of each Chinese New Year. So I'm assuming we're going to find some floating lanterns. So we looked and looked and looked all around the Chinese pavilion for the Olaf. We looked up high. Looked around looking for all the lanterns we could find. We gave up in despair. We were walking out of the pavilion. And some smart little lady spotted them from like a mile away. I think it's a little misleading because this is the very edge of the Chinese pavilion. Because all that starting from there all the way over there is the rest of the pavilion. This one was definitely not easy to find. But I have stuck a lantern. To me it looks like a it looks like an orange to me, but or a peeled orange, but it's a lantern. So now we are off to Germany and Germany says a German choir master is said to have given the first candy canes to calm excited children on Christmas Eve. So I think we're going to have to find an Olaf with candy canes in his sleigh maybe. Who thought giving sugared up candy canes to kids would calm them down? Someone that wasn't smart? Maybe a, a person that didn't have kids. That's my guess. Do you feel like you're home? Uh, if I've ever been to Germany in my entire life, just because you are German doesn't mean you, you feel like you're home when you're in Germany. Land, it got silly. Do you feel like you're at home when you're in... Okay, there isn't a Korean land. When you're in any of the Asian lands. No, because I'm not... I'm Korean. I'm not Chinese I'm or saying, Japanese. I'm just saying. Yeah. Alright, let's find Ola. <laughs> Go that way. I found him. Where? 
Oh. I found Ola. Good job, honey. You get to put the candy cane on in the thing. I found him, so I get to do the stickers. Okay, and this is the first one I found, like, all day? I don't know. I thought you found the first one. No, I said where to go, but I think you're in the song first. I'm gonna put the candy canes on the one that says Germany. Germany. All right, where are we going next? Now, next on the wheel, we're off to the land of Italy. An Italian baker's prepare a zesty fruit cake called something as a holiday treat. Panettone or something, I don't know. So we're gonna look for Olaf carrying some fruit cake. All righty, let's go. So, it is about 80 degrees out, fairly humid, but being from where we're from, and it being 30 degrees and snowing right now, it's warm. Yeah. But we gotta get used to it because we're moving down here, right Dustin? Uh, I'm moving down here. I don't know what's holding you guys up. Um, packing up our house because you're not helping? Anyway, if somebody wants to buy a house, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> That's a, that's a cool, tall building right there. I do not see Olaf back here. So we must have missed him towards the front then. Alright, well, let's go back. It wasn't easy. It's like Shanghai all over again. The Chinese pavilion all over again. What? It's like the Chinese pavilion all over again. I feel like he should always be around Christmassy type decorations. Yeah, I can see that. He's not. Oh, you found him. Good job. So I realize this is like Venice and an Italian canal and stuff, but really this is like as far out of the pavilion as you could get. It's still technically the pavilion though. But there he is with his little bread. So happy. So annoying. So difficult to find. Dustin found it again, so he gets to do it. I'm on a roll. Without dropping it, please. It's a lot of pressure putting stickers on, man. I tell you. All right, where are we going next? The American Adventure. 
Kids of all ages ring in the most joyous time of year by singing Cherish Carols. Alrighty. Well, let's go to the USA, I guess. It was this way. See? Oh. We're going to whatever Kwanzaa. Okay, we're going to Kwanzaa, which technically isn't a land, but it sounds like it's in Africa. Is there an African land? I don't know. Uh, we, we don't go to Africa very often. The seven days of Kwanzaa are celebrated with Whoa. seven candles, which symbolize struggle, hope, and the people of African American descent. <laughs> so there is a big bird that just scared me. That's why I said whoa when the camera got shaky. Yeah, we're going. To, well, it says the American Adventure, but we'll just walk and see. Yeah, I don't. Know. I don't know where. There's literally a giant bird that walked up, took from us, jumped on the railing, and flew off. What pavilion is this? This is the uh, the USA Pavilion. So you were right. Thank you. You just wanted me to tell you you were right. I have proof on camera saying that I am right. The only time I'll probably ever do that. I'm just kidding. You're so mean to me. Let's find Ola. It's probably out in the middle of the water because that's what they do with Olaf on this side, apparently. Dude, they did it once. Let's not be so melodramatic. So he could, he could be in the water. Maybe by the big Christmas tree? Uh, maybe. That would make sense. Gotta go That's a very nice tree. What? So that's a very nice tree. So now we are over by the bathrooms in the American Pavilion back in the back corner. And we were having a hard time trying to find this Olaf until some kids ran by and shouted, there he is. So now we know where he's at. And we'll show you momentarily. Yeah, I know the kids will probably never see this, but give props to kids because they found it. So I don't think I would have found it where it was. Yeah, so random stranger kids that ran by yelling, there he is, thanks. So here's the bathrooms. Here's the Olaf. Like Jingle Bell. Yep. It almost looks like he's singing along with the Mexican man. The music notes to the American one. Now it looks like I think we do Japan. Yes, I think so. And Japan says Japanese decorate for the new year with festive kagami machi. Do not I don't think I, I don't think I'm saying that right. Created from machi and rice cake. So I think we're looking for an Olaf that's holding some kind of dessert. Sounds delicious. So let's go to Japan. There's Spaceship Earth on the other side of whatever lake that's the call, I can't remember. I it's a very beautiful day. And now we're entering Japan. Oh, <laughs> 
So we're looking for Olaf with some pricey type dessert stuff. Yum. And I already found them. This Olaf was actually really easy to find. It's not because there's much people over there though. I actually saw him on yeah, I actually saw him on the rock. So there he is on the rock with some kind of rice cakey dessert. Probably singing to these fishes. The koi? Yeah. I actually know what kind of fish they are. You can put this sticker on because I take too long. Alrighty. Japan? Japan. And we are moving right along. Right, Japan is done. Now we are going to Morocco, I think. The Olive Festival is celebrated during December in the countryside of Fez and Rapsi. Sorry if I said that wrong. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say that. Olives, interesting. Yep. All right, let's go to Morocco. Ooh, Morocco's pretty. Not as pretty as you. It's architecturally beautiful. That guy's wearing a Christmas kilt. Oh, I just Hard to pick up on the camera, but we'll zoom in. And there he is with olives. So, Courtney will put the olive branches, I'm assuming olive branches, on the Moroccan circle. And then I'm not sure if the holiday kitchen is before France or not. But I'll just tell you France's. Families in France play special Yule logs on their earth and get cozy around the fire. And then after that we just kind of find Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. All right. And one of them must be in the World Showcase and one of them must be in the Holiday Kitchen. So wherever the, we'll have to go back to the Showcase and then find the Holiday Kitchen. Follow us. Is the holiday kitchen in the workshop place? I don't know. I don't remember. Sounds like holiday kitchen might be next. Yeah. I literally just said I hadn't seen a parade go by in a while. We come out of the Moroccan pavilion to see Santa? the backside of Santa. Bye. Four hours? We've done a lot. We have. 
And I've already found the next Olaf. What? Well, how, what? Oh, I did. Okay, there he is. I see him too. I did. So that's in the Slush Shop Holiday Kitchen. You don't want to say that. I don't know if they can hear me. Uh, yeah, the Holiday Kitchen. We gotta find out if it's the Hanukkah or the Hanukkah. And we shall find out together. This is a very popular booth though because it's got a long line. So here we are at El Chaimi, El Chaim Holiday Kitchen. What was called the Holiday Kitchen. And up there. Mr. Olaf with a bunch of gradles. Which I kind of thought it might be because of where we were at. But it says four sided spinning tops called gradles feature letters from the Hebrew alphabet, Hanukkah, which is you know, part of Hanukkah. So. so I'm guessing Kwanzaa will go in the world show, world show place, but we'll go back and find that out after we go to France. Prince. The Guardians of the Galaxy building blends into the sky on the camera. These ornaments are cool though. They are. Yeah. Here's the Yule Logs. Alright, so we are almost done. We just gotta go back to World Showplace and find the Kwanzaa Yule So we, last one, all off we had to find is that we're old show place. Walking up to it, now that we knew that we had to find the Kwanzaa candles. There he is. Sitting here, on the left side of the walkway behind this weird pipe thing or light. I think it's a light. Yeah. Chilling with his bad self. Singing a happy Kwanzaa song. Yeah, I really, I feel like we should have saw that. But we were looking in the building. Yeah, we were looking in the building and I wasn't looking out here. Alright, so it says okay. the seven days of Kwanzaa like, are celebrated with seven candles which symbolize struggle, hope, and the people of African American descent. So now we know what that was about when I talked about it earlier today. So Yay. I am going to put if I can get it out. What our prize is. Which we'll probably do at the end of the day when we leave the park. But they're done. Woohoo! We did it! It took a few hours, but we did it. Let's go ride some rides.
Aye, aye. So we forgot to do an outro video. So these are the two prizes that we selected. You could choose from three different Olaf cups that they had there. And so these are the ones that we decided to get. But thanks for watching. It was a fun video to make. I look for future videos on Disney and other fun things. And we hope you like and subscribe to keep notified of all our future adventures. Bye.